Uh, I think Jacksonville will have a better season this year. I think they, they will, too. a year ago. Yeah. Coach Peterson, he's back. Uh, I think Trevor will be better, you know, with all, all that drama that yeah. he had there. On yeah, the we got to talk Urban about Meyer. that, too. That shit was crazy. Yeah, there was a lot of drama there, man. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I think he'll be better this year. You think they'll win the division this year? I'm, I'm in Nashville. On, I'm, I'm always on here trying to set some shit up, dude. Nah, but it's all but good. You know what? But, look but I, 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 I got to <laughs> say this, though. I, I will say this. I don't think... Um, lightly, Fred. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Houston was the top dog four years ago. Mm. Tennessee took that spot over. Tennessee's been the top dog. Well, don't sleep on the Colts now. It was always... No, the, 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 the Colts are nice now. The, the Colts are... The Colts are always nice, dude. Yeah. What, what, what's their identity? Fuck. If I if I'm in your division, yeah, playing the Colts, yeah, I see Matty Ice just went over there, and they got rid of Carson Wentz after you know making the they they they, they missed the playoffs because we won. I, I Jacksonville won, so they missed the playoffs. Shout out Jacksonville. But yeah, that was wild. I don't, I don't know if uh, Matt Ryan is better than Carson Wentz. Yeah, but you got Jonathan Taylor. And, you do have Jonathan and Taylor. They're, and they're in their well coached football team. Like I know that they're, they're, they're Ryan very is an, is an unbelievable football coach. Look, I tell you what, their identity is the same as the Tennessee Titans. I really, I, and I really I believe that. Physical, are well coach. coached, yes. physical. They know the Finish. rules. They know how to use the rules to their advantage, and they play good. And they're always, they're always gap responsible. Their uh, defense is gap responsible. When the DN goes inside, it's not because he just has a whim. Right. It's because he's, you know, he's told to. So his backers got his back. They play great, sound football. I agree with that, so and they're very much identical to what you guys have. Yes. Right. Um, I think you guys have Tannehill in your system. He's been a better player since he landed in Tennessee. I agree with that. I just don't know what the identity of the quarterback is in Indy. We know what they bring in the run game. We know what they do on defense. They can't let teams like Jacksonville beat them mm -hmm. and split those games in the division. You guys don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you yeah. don't do that. So if you want to be the top dog in the division, you got to crush the bottom you know, uh, pest or whatever you want to call them. Mm -hmm. And you guys have been good at doing that with Jacksonville. Yeah, we let one slip away at Houston wild, this year. The, the Colts haven't. Yeah, the Colts, yeah. well, they split. I mean, the Colts haven't done that. They split with Jacksonville. They lost both times yeah. to us. And they beat Houston both times, right? Right. We beat Jacksonville twice, beat the Colts twice, but we split with Houston. And Houston with Deshaun not playing and they're, and their coaching thing yeah, was kind of up was in the tough. air. That, that was, was a wild down. loss. That was, that, was a wild, weirdly, that was a wild game. Yeah, that was a, a wild, wild loss. Yeah, it it became a let There's down. a reason why it's any given Sunday. Like, well, the worst true. team can beat the best team any day of Very the week. Much. The uh, Cardinals got their ass kicked to the Detroit Lions. Right. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it right. can happen at but any time. the Cardinals, time. like, it's the same thing, though. Like, you're saying, if you're going to be the top dog, you got to you gotta step on the team that's the You got to step on them. But we'll just go ahead and cap this segment off and answer your question. Yeah, Jaguars are going to win the division this year. <laughs> they're good. I'm here. I, I, I think I, they'll I, be I, better. That's not a team you sleep on, though. Like, especially want, when you play in Jacksonville. God forbid it's in December. Right. Because you're so used they to that cold. They beat Buffalo. In Jacksonville. Buffalo yeah. made it to the AFC Championship. Yeah, they beat them like what nine to six. What nine to nine score? to six. That was yes. Oh my. And it was exactly. a it was it was a great game for them at home. The NFL, bro. Right. It's the NFL. Sunday. But then they came back, and you you didn't see that same team again. I think a lot of that had to do with with uh, Meyer, though. I, I just think you see all this stuff coming out and all the shit you read is probably there's half of it's true, half of it's not. But this whole thing with Tim Tebow where you'd make the players wear the jerseys and like <laughs> Tim Tebow <laughs> Tuesdays. <laughs> I didn't hear about wild. I, I missed that one. Uh, I know he he and Timmy are uh, they're super tight. Yeah. And uh, I you know, know those Tebow Tuesdays they cut them halfway through camp. <sighs> it can't be that tight. Tim, Timmy's my guy. You know, obviously he had a lot of um, pressure on him. For, for even bringing Tim to the team. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people felt like, you know, there's so many other talented guys at that position that was worthy of a tryout, mm -hmm. which is what Timmy basically earned. But, you know, uh, or Timmy had, I won't say earned, but he had a yeah. tryout. Um, and, you know, you just go back. Relationships are everything. You know, um, I always tell people it's not about, because um, they like to say it's about who you know. Right. I always like to say it's about who knows you, right? That's good. Because I like that. You you can vouch yeah. for me mm -hmm. if you know me, right? It's right. um more so than me knowing you, I gotta wait on a phone call and you yeah. might not call me back. <laughs> uh, right. that is but you can point. vouch for me. Mm -hmm. And uh Urban, he knows Timmy well. You know, and he's like, Hey, I'm bring you in and give you a shot. But a lot of people felt like there are so many other guys worthy 
of that tryout, but you totally just dismissed it and brought your homeboy in. Right. You know, for the and most part. In the part. beginning, like obviously everything panned out the way it has, and you know they've all split up and all that stuff. But right. In the very beginning, like you're trying to build a culture too as a coach, and it's like Tim Tebow. He's he's kind of got right. The so you know how the locker room is. You can lose the locker room so easy. You know, even when that happened, the guys in the locker room was like, hmm, Tebow's a joke. I, I mean, I love Tim. Right. Tim's my guy. His foundation, what he does in life, who he is as a person, you know, who he is at a, as an analyst. Mm -hmm. um, I always player. felt like, right, baseball player, I always felt like um, he didn't get a fair shot after doing what he did with the Broncos, you know, in the playoff run, all that different stuff. You know, he's not the conventional quarterback. Mm -hmm. You know, you go and you script some stuff around him. He's a fucking, he was a, a winner. He was a guy that would put his heart on the line. I mean, right. one of the go best players in compete, Florida. Right? He, so, he legit, I think he could have been in the league like a, a Taysom Hill, the Mormon Missile. He could have definitely yeah, done yeah, that. Mormon Missile. He, he, he Mormon really could have been that dude. He could have definitely done that. Uh, so for Tim, um, you know, I, I loved him across the board. Uh, I just think that the timing of what happened in Jacksonville, um, you know, Urban coming back in with the baggage he was already bringing back into Tried the NFL. The strength, coach. the strength coach, that was a red flag. Tim was a red flag. He go out there, you lose a game in Cincinnati, a tough game against eventually the Super Bowl, the guys that lost in the Super yeah, Bowl. Right. Uh, you go up there, and then now you're in your in your home state of uh, Ohio. You're out there getting what they consider a lap dance and all this other stuff. You didn't fly home with the team. Mm -hmm. With all that other stuff, right? You have a, 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 a rookie quarterback who was dependent on his head coach being a leader. You know, so now the media is tearing him up. The quarterback isn't playing well. Jacksonville isn't playing well. Jacksonville's always, always considered one of the big and laughing stocks teams in the, in the business of uh, football. Mm -hmm. um, so just a lot of distractions on top of distractions on top of that. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was drama down there, man. And I, I do their home games each and every week. I do their away games from my place. But when they're home, I go do in-stadium analysis uh, uh, as far as for uh, their media and the uh, fan stuff. Yeah. Um, so I'm tucked in with them and following them real close, man. It was just, it was bad. The local media was beating them up. The national medium was, media was killing them. Uh, I think it was the right move for the franchise to, 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 to cancel his contract. Um, but again, I, I do think that Coach Peterson having taken a year off have some time to uh, evaluate the NFL and, you know, how the game is going now. Get creative while he's at home. He's the offensive genius. The things he's done in Philly, you know, mm -hmm. for those four years winning the Especially Super Bowl. Quarterback too. Quarterbacks, he's great. A former quarterback who's going to be a great quarterback coach. I just think that uh, with that, along with uh, the quarterback, his confidence is amazing. I think he's going to be great, man. Yeah, he's uh, got to be great. He's, he's now that the drama's gone, he gets to settle down. Uh, I like to see what uh, Travis Etienne is going to do to help James Robinson to take some pressure off of uh, 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 um, Lawrence James. Trevor. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting the Jags to have a big year, and not just saying it because I'm a former player. Just seeing there how all of the pieces can fall into play. Mm -hmm. I think they definitely will win. They'll be above 500. That's a, that's a big statement. Nah, I, I think so. The league is it's, 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 a, it's a 500 league. I hope you guys like this clip. If you want to continue to be for the boys, you need to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share with a friend, and check out our playlist. We have all the links right here on the screen. As always, biggest of hugs and tiniest of kisses. Also, go check out the full episodes, but always for the boys.